Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, I was asked to test Avira Antivir Premium, um, so I went and downloaded a trial. It is uh, about 34 megabytes, so it's not a huge download compared to some of them that I've seen. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to keep this review to one video, so just like I usually do. And um, I'm going to begin the installer, and um, what I'll do is I'll pause the video right now, and if anything interesting pops up during the install process, I'll uh, restart the video. If not, I'll see you guys when it's all done. Okay, quick thing here. Um, it finished installing, so we're just going to configure it right now. The heuristics I'll leave to medium, and I will select everything to make sure that it uh, um, can find everything. We'll do a secure start. We will not scan it because we know we have a clean system and we'll finish. Now I have a feeling it might ask me to restart. Might not. Hmm. That's nice. So we will right now uh, start the update. And as it's updating, uh, I shall pause it because it's going to take about a minute or so and I'll be back. Okay, so I just checked again for updates and as you see, I do have the latest uh, updates. I haven't changed any of the settings so let's get uh, started here I have the same links that I did in the Norman security review and if you want to check that out you can see it with my uh, other videos okay let's see what we got here we got a uh, okay so a uh, Trojan dropper Generic signature is what found this Trojan, so we will deny access. That's good. This was working earlier, but it already might be dead. Oh, no, nope, there it is. We'll wait that. To wait for that thing to oh there you go it downloaded this is that fun one that once I install it it's gonna restart the computer yeah it's gonna shut down my computer so I'm gonna pause it and uh, start it back up when it's done okay so I had to start the computer again for that uh, interesting installer there let's get connected back to the net that codec or whatever yeah, that thing is Okay, that one got blocked, so that's good. That one I think got blocked also. Yes, it did. Okay, I don't see anything from that. Okay, I think these are dead. Okay, that one got blocked. That one's dead also from the other review. Don't see anything from that one. That one got blocked. And that one got blocked. So I'm going to perform a full scan now on the computer. Great. Um, so it's going to do a scan right now. So I'll pause the video while there's a scanning and I will be back to see if it finds anything. See you in a second. Okay, so I finished scanning here and it found. Uh, another Trojan using their uh, generic Trojan signature so we will repair that 
we will end so we'll restart this because it said we should and I'll be back when the restart is done and I'll do my usual malware byte scan so I'll see you when this is done restarting okay so uh, computer restarted here we're going to install malware bytes just like I normally do and because I actually have some time I'll keep you through the install here it's, of course it's not anything special see what kind of memory usage we got here see 47 megs there kind of high okay so I'm gonna perform a quick scan and uh, I'll be right back when this is done see you in a second okay so malwarebytes just finished scanning said it found 13 things so let's check it out so we got a couple of files in system 32 stolen data uh, some temporary internet files and we do have a lot of registry changes here um, I'm not real happy about that because in my opinion um, if you have a very very good security system you know your your setup it shouldn't allow any changes to the registry to happen um, that this, this did as you can see um, and there's a couple of stuff here hanging around um, to me this is it's not bad definitely not bad it did help but as you can see this exposes a weakness in um, a lot of antivirus uh, software today if all you rely on signatures um, and heuristics like um, Avira here does right now you're not going to get anywhere you can't keep up with the amount of malware there that is out right now um, and heuristics is not good enough to really offer you the protection that you need if you make it too sensitive you just get a lot of false positives if you don't make it sensitive enough you don't get anything um, even behavior blockers can be fooled to me uh, the only way to really protect the system is with hips um, in addition to a behavior blocker and in addition to heuristics and in addition to signatures you have to have all these wrapped up into one good program that can easily you know if uh, let's say you don't have a signature for it well maybe the heuristics will catch it or if the heuristics doesn't catch it maybe the behavior blocker will catch it and even if let's say it gets by all those you have hips there that will completely lock out the most important part of your system from getting accessed and damaging your computer to the point where you can't get access at all you know, say it damages your internet or whatever um, from what I know Avira here is working on a new um, you know version and uh, from what I heard I think it has a behavior blocker but to me a behavior blocker if that's what it does have is still not good enough um, I've seen behavior blockers fail many of times even some of the best ones out there so to me the only way is having a security system that locks down the whole computer just like it should you know there, there's my little rant for today so um, I definitely give uh, a viewer here a, a I don't know 8 to 9 out of 10 it did great but it let a lot of registry changes happen which I don't think should be allowed to happen at all simple as that you know even uh, people say well there's nothing they're just registry changes they shouldn't happen at all especially for paid software like Avira is here for their premium version so um, that's a review for Avira and uh, I'll let you guys go I got one more review to do so I'll talk to everybody later